Okay, so today we are going to speak a little bit about power. Danas bih želio malo govoriti o sili, moć. Power and grace. Moć i blagodat. Moć blagodat. That's an interesting photo that. Ovo je zanimljiva slika. One of our missionaries. Jedan od naših misionara. He went to this place. Otišao je na ovo mjesto. When he got there, he took over from the old missionary, of course. Kada je tamo došao, naslijedio je starijeg misionara. And the old, the old missionary told him, he said, look, here's the house, and the house is fine, and here is the car, and the car is great. I taj prethodni misionar mu je rekao, evo, ovdje je kuća u kojoj ćeš biti, ona je u redu, i tu je i auto, i ono je izuzetno. There is only one little problem with the car. Postoji samo jedan mali problem s autom. You have to push it, it doesn't start by itself. Moraš da ga poguraš da upali. So for six years, this missionary drove that car. And he would always park that car on a little hill so that he could just put the car in neutral and let it run and then put it in second and drop the clutch and then there, off he goes. And he would always park that Sometimes there wasn't a little hill. Ali nekada ne bi bilo tog malog brda, uzbrdice. And then he had to use manpower. I onda bi trebao da koristi ljudsku snagu. To get the car going. Da pokrene automobil. Eventually the time came when this missionary had to leave and a new missionary came. Došlo je vrijeme kada i ovaj misionar trebao da ode i da dođe novi. And like before he took the missionary and he showed him the house, showed them everything and also showed them the car. Kao što je bilo sa njim i on je ovom novom misionaru pokazao kuću i pokazao sve drugo i auto. And he told them about the car. I rekao mu sve u vezi auta. But the new missionary knew something about cars. Ali ovaj novi misionar treći po redu je znao nešto o vozilima. So he opened up the bonnet of the car. On je otvorio haubu automobila. He looked around in the engine. Pogledao je malo po motoru. And then he went away and fetched some uh, spanners. I povezao je neke tamo žice. Some tools. And uh, he came and there was a loose wire and he took that loose wire and he connected it to the right place. He got in the car, turned the key and vroom, there goes the car. I vidio je u stvari da je bila jedna labava i on ju je spojio, okrenuo ključ i upalio. I auto je krenulo. For six years this missionary got his car pushed. Šest godina je ovaj prethodni misionar gurao auto. And here in five minutes he connects to the power and everything is fine. A evo za pet minuta je povezao sa pokretačkom silom i bilo je sve u redu. So we sometimes also just have to connect to the power. Vi, mi često tako funkcionišemo da nismo povezani. So let's start off with a very interesting verse in the Bible. Hajde počnemo sa jednim zanimljivim tekstom iz Svetog pisma. This is Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Efesima 2:8. In fact, I think all of you know this text off by heart. You should. Vjerujem da svi vi znate ovaj tekst na pamet. Trebali bi. It says for by grace are ye saved. Tekst kaže, jer ste blagodaću spaseni. Through faith. Kroz vjeru. And that not of yourself. I to nije od vas. It is the gift of God. Dar je Boži. That's a wonderful, wonderful text. Ovo je predivan, predivan tekst. It's pretty much used everywhere. Često je korišten, svuda. Now, what is the definition of grace? Šta je definicija blagodati? Anybody? Bilo ko? What do you think grace is? Šta mislite da je blagodat? Zaslužen. Yeah. Unmerited gift. Okay, that's great. That's what, that's what most people answer. That's what's there on the board. Unmerited grace, unmerited gift, unmerited favor, unmerited forgiveness. That's normally what people say. To je ono uobičajeno što ljudi govore nezasluženi dar, nezaslužena naklonost, nezaslužena milost. What does that mean? Šta to znači? Well, basically it means that it's a gift that we don't deserve, right? U suštini to znači to je dar koji mi ne zaslužujemo. Unmerited means we don't deserve it. Ne zaslužen znači da nismo ga vrijedni. And you have just told me that grace means an unmerited gift. I vi ste mi upravo to rekli. So it means a gift that we don't deserve. Znači to je blagodat koji ne zaslužujemo. 
Okay, so there's the gift. Dobro, dakle evo ovdje je dar. Okay, so let me put it to you this way. Hajde to kažemo ovako. I'm going to give you unmerited grace. Ja ću vam dati nezasluženu blagodat. Here's the gift. Evo tu je dar. Okay, so tell me please what is it? I recite mi onda sad šta je to? I'm accepting. I accept someone said. <laughs> no, I'm I'm giving you the gift. I'm glad that you accept it. That's fine and you don't deserve it. But what is the gift? What dragom, am I giving you? Drago mi je što prihvataš. Ja ti to dajem, ali šta ti dajem? Uh, eternal life possibilities. Forgiving of the sins. Unforgiveness, there is a good one. Unforgiveness, undeserved pardon. So, okay, the gift is undeserved pardon. Listen very carefully. So, we are... Taj dar je nezasluženo oproštenje. So, what we've said up to now is that, okay, grace, that's what we're trying to establish, what is it? Dobro, što smo do sada rekli, dakle, blagodat, to je nezaslužena milost, nezaslužena dar. So, what we've said up to now is that, well, it's a gift. I ono što smo rekli, to je dar. It's a gift that we don't deserve. To je dar koji ne zaslužujemo. And it's a gift that will forgive us. I to je dar koji će nam oprostiti. Okay, but what is the gift? Ali šta je dar? Jesus Christ. Death of Jesus Christ. Eternal life. Interesting. Zanimljivo. Let's take you to that photo. Hajde da vas povedem ka ovoj fotografiji. I'm sure you know what that is. Vjerujem da znate šta je ovo. That's a confessional, right? To je mjesto za ispovijedanje, ispovijedonica. So, I know a few people that went to those places. Znam neke ljude koji odlaze na ovo mjesto. Some of my friends that were young boys with me. Neki ljudi koji su bili mladići sa mnom odrastali. And I know that they were terrified with it. I znam da su uplašeni od ovakvog mjesta. Because they thought that if they go there and they go and tell what they have done wrong, it's going to get back to their parents somehow. Plašili su se ako odu tamo i kažu šta su loše uradili, da će to doći na neki način do njihovih roditelja. So you know you go in there and they they close the the curtain and inside it's very dark. Dakle uđete unutra, pomaknete zavjesu, a tamo je prilično mračno. And then there is this voice coming from. The dog saying, okay, what have you sinned? I onda glas dolazi iz te tame i kaže u redu, šta si zgriješio? And you know, as young boys, I am not sure about other people, but young boys. A znate, za mlade, mladiće, ne znam za druge ljude, ali za mladiće. You tend to make up stories there. Tamo počnete da izmišljate. You say, oh, well, you know, I have done this and I've done that, but that's actually just, you know, it's nothing actually. And then you hear this voice saying, okay, your sin is forgiven, it's not a problem, just go and say two Hail Marys and three Our Fathers and go and light the candle on your way out. I onda čujete glas koji kaže u redu, oprošteno to je, zgovori par zdravo Marija, upali svijeće i slične stvari. And you know, as young boys, if you walk out, you sigh a relief, a sigh of relief. That was easy. And you go happily on doing whatever you've been doing before. So, basically, The church told you you've been forgiven. Crkva vam je rekla oprošteno vam je. But actually, ali u stvari, it's not taken care of it. To nije sređeno. So when we talk about grace, it has to be more than forgiveness. Kada govorimo o blagodati, to mora biti više od samog oproštenja. It cannot just be forgiveness. Got to be more than that. Ne može biti samo oproštenje, mora biti više od toga. In fact, the Bible tells us something very interesting. U stvari, Biblija nam govori nešto veoma zanimljivo. There's some of the texts. Evo nekih stihova. Revelation 2.7, 2.17, 2.26, 3.5, 3.12, 3.21. Iz otkrivenja drugog i trećeg poglavlja. 
And that says to him that overcometh. I svaki od tih stihova govori onome koji pobjedi. So grace is for those that overcome. Dakle blagodat je namijenjena onima koji će pobijediti. It's tied up to overcoming. Vezana je uz pobjedu. Let's take a look. Uz nadvladavanje određenih stvari. Ephesians 1 verse 19. Efesima 1:19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power. I kakva je izobilna veličina sile njegove na nama koji vjerujemo po činjenju prevelike sile njegove. That's grace. To je blagodat. So he's extending grace to us. How is he doing that? Dakle kada nam se pruža ta blagodat, kako se to ostvaruje, kako se He's exceeding grace to us through the greatness. He's exceeding greatness of the power to us who believe. Ta izobilna blagodat dolazi kroz silu. According to the working of his mighty power. Kroz kao što tekst kaže, djelovanje te njegove velike sile. Basically, Paul is telling us in Ephesians u Efesima that grace da je blagodat is equal to the salvational power of Jesus Christ. Da je blagodat jednaka spasonosnoj sili Isusa Hrista. So what is the gift? Dakle šta je dar? The gift is the salvational power of God of Jesus Christ. Dar je spasonosna sila Božja Isusa Hrista. Now that's a different story. To je sad već druga priča. Because you see we went we started with Ephesians 2 and that's the text that everybody you know like gives to you if you talk to them. Kao što vidite počeli smo sa tekstom iz Efesima 2:8 koji svi citiraju kada se o ovome govori. That's like going to the confessional. To je kao kada idete u ispovjedonicu. You are saved by grace not of yourself. Don't worry about it. You know you are forgiven. Go for it. Spaseni ste vjerom, to nije od vas. Oprošteno vam je, možete da idete. Except the Bible says you have to overcome. Osim što Biblija kaže treba da nadvladate. But this is generally the feeling of the world out there. I to je uopšteno osjećaj svijeta. The world likes to say that you know what I am saved by grace. I don't have to worry about this. Svijet voli da vi kažete spasen sam blagodaću i ne treba da brinem. They don't know quite what grace is except that it's an undeserved gift. Ne znaju šta je blagodat osim što je to nezaslužena nezasluženi dar. So God is going to give me a gift. It's free. I don't have to worry about it. Bog će mi dati dar, on je besplatan i ja ne treba ništa da brinem. I'm going to be saved. Spa, biću spašen. But that's not how it works. Ali ne funkcioniše to baš tako. For us to overcome, we're going to need this power. Da bismo mi nadvladali, pobijedili, treba nam ova sila. This mighty salvational power of Jesus Christ. Ova moćna spasonosna sila Isusa Hrista. In fact, he says in Acts 4 verse 33, he says, And with great power gave the disciples witness of the resurrection and great grace was upon them all. Notice here how grace and power is tied together. Primijetite u ovom stihu dijela 4:33 kako je sila i blagodat povezano. I apostoli s velikom silom svjedočahu za vaskrsenje Gospoda Isusa Hrista i blagodat velika bješe na svima njima. Where did these disciples get that grace from? Gdje su oni učenici dobili ovu blagodat? They got it from Jesus Christ, right? Dobili su je od Isusa Hrista. Because he made their salvation possible. Jer je on njihovo spasenje učinio mogućim. And so he says here yeah, with great power gave the disciples so the power the salvational power that they got from Jesus Christ. Dakle oni su svjedočili velikom silom, a to je upravo sila koju su dobili iz Isusa Hrista. This is now what they are utilizing to be witnesses of Christ's resurrection. Ovo je ono što oni sada koriste kao uh, svjedok kao dokaz vaskrsenja. And because of the witness of those disciples, i zbog svjedočenja tih učenika, given by the salvational power of Jesus Christ, kojim je dato spasonosnom silom Isusa Hrista, great grace came to all of them that listened. Velika blagodat je došla na sve koji su slušali. It's interesting, right? Zanimljivo, zar ne? Now let's go to Romans 1 verse 16. Rimljanima 1:16, hajde da pročitamo taj tekst. Take a look at Paul again. Pogledajte ponovo šta Pavle piše. Paul says, yeah, for I am not ashamed 
of the gospel of Christ. Jer se ne stidim evanđelja Hristova. What did the disciples do again? Šta su učenici radili? Ponovno. They went and proclaimed the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oni su išli i propovijedali evanđelje. So Paul is saying I'm not ashamed of that gospel. I Pavle kaže ja se toga ne stidim. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Jer je sila Božja na ili za spasenje. So power unto salvation means it is power that is given to you to overcome. To znači da je to sila koja vam je data da biste nadvladali. In fact that word power there in the Greek is dynamis. Ta riječ sila na grčkom potiče od termina dynamite. Dinamis a vezana je uz kasniju riječ dynamite is great power, right? A dinamit znamo ima veliku silu. It's not small power, it's great power. Nije mala sila, velika. Take a look at this one. Hajde pogledamo još jedan tekst. Luke 6 verse 19. Luka 6 19. And the whole multitude sought to touch him. I sav narod tražaše da ga se dotakne. Now the English dotakne. says, yeah, for they went virtue out of him. U engleskom stoji ovdje da je iz njega izlazila vrlina. And healed them all. I izlječivali ih. But that word virtue, ali ta riječ, in the Greek is also dynamis. Je u grčkom također dinamis i kod nas je prevedeno zaradića sila. This text verse can read, and the whole multitude sought to touch him, for they went power, great power out of him, and yield them all. I ovaj tekst može da se prevede kao što je preveden u Karadžićevom prevodu. Salvational power. Spasonosna sila. Divine grace we can define as follows. Tu božansku blagodat mi možemo definisati na sljedeći način. Divine grace is the great element of saving power. Ona je veliki sastavni dio spasonosne sile. It is not merely God's mercy and willingness to forgive. To nije samo Božja milost i spremnost da nam oprosti. God's grace is an active energizing transforming power to save Božja blagodat je aktivna osnažujuća transformirajuća sila za spasenje koja spašava Let's take a look at Ephesians 3 verse 20 Pogledajmo Efesima 3:20 This reads now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think a onome koji može još izobilnije sve činiti što ištemo ili mislimo. And how is this done? I kako se to sve dešava, kako se to sve odvija? According to the power that worketh in us. Po sili koja čini u nama. That dynamic salvational power of Jesus Christ. Ta dinamična spasonosna sila Isusa Hrista. So let me ask you a question. You've been listening very nicely and attentively. So when did God's grace begin? So obzirno slušate tako pažljivo, dojte da postavim pitanje. Kada je ta blagodat Božja počela? In the heaven? On Pentecost? Well, I'm glad that some have said in heaven because yes, from eternity. Let's take a look. Ja, drago mi je da je neko rekao na nebu, jer to potiče još od vječnih vremena. Pogledajte ovaj tekst. And of his fullness have all we received. Od njegove punine mi svi uzesmo. Grace for grace. This is John chapter 1, verse 16 and 17. Jovan 1, 16 i 17. Blagodat za blagodaću. For the law was given by Moses. Jer se zakon dade preko Mojsija. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. A blagodat i istina postade od Isusa Hrista. Now if Jesus Christ has this gift to give us, dakle Isus Hristos je imao ovaj dar da nam da, it means he had to have the gift to give us before that. Što znači da je morao imati taj dar da bi nam ga dao. Okay. Prije nego što nam ga dao. Let's go to 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9. Druga Timotijeva, 1:9 Paul is saying yeah, he says who has saved us and called us with a holy calling koji nas spasa i prizva zvanjem svetim not according to our works ne po djelima našim but according to his own purpose and grace nego po svojoj naredbi i blagodati 
His grace, svojej blagodati, which was given us in Christ Jesus, koja nam je dana u Hristu Isusu, before the world began. Ovaj prevod kaže prije nego što je svijet nastao, a Karadžić prije vremena vječnih. So this salvational power has always been available. It wasn't an afterthought. Ova spasuna sam sila je uvijek bila dostupna. To nije nešto naknadno što je nastalo. It wasn't something that God had to conjure up after sin. To nije nešto što je Bog trebao da osmisli poslije pada u grijeh. It's been there all along. Ona je bila stalno prisutna. Titus 2:11. Titu 2:11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation jer se pokaza blagodat Božja hath appeared to all men that means to Adam and Eve right up to you and me koja spašava sve ljude dakle ovdje kaže pokazala se svim ljudima što znači i Adamu i Evi just to be sure i samo evo da budemo sigurni in Genesis we read that Noah found grace so Noah found the salvational power of Jesus Christ u prvoj Mojsevoj čitamo da je Noje našao milost dakle ona je postila i tamo We read in Genesis 6 verse 5. Čitamo u 1. Mojsevoj 6:5. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. I Gospod videći da je nevaljalstvo ljudsko veliko na zemlji. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was da, only evil continually. I da su sve misli srca njihova svakda samo zle. So God knew he had to apply salvational grace Bog je znao treba da primjeni tu spasonosnu blagodat which was his to give koja je bila njegova i mogao je da je da and so Noah and his family found that i Noje i njegova porodica su to doživjeli let's take a look at Jeremiah 31 verse 2 Jeremija 31 2 thus saith the Lord ovako veli Gospod the people which were left of the sword Narod što ostao od mača found grace in the wilderness. Nađe milost u pustinji. Even Israel. Čak i Izrael. When I went to cause him to rest. Kada sam ja išao da im dam odmor. So Israel, not only Noah, but the people Israel, they had grace, they had the salvational power of God. Izrael, dakle ne samo Noe, nego cijeli Izrael je dobio ovu spasonosnu silu Božju. Let's take a look at what Psalm 84:11 tells us. Psalam 84:11, da vidimo šta on kaže. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. Jer je Gospod Bog sunce i štit. The Lord will give grace and glory. Gospod daje blagodat i slavu. No good thing will he withhold for them that walk uprightly. Onima koji hode u bezazlenosti ne uskraćuje ni jednoga dobra. He will give grace and glory. On će dati blagodat i slavu. So he will give us his salvational power. On će nam dati spasonosnu silu. For those that want to walk uprightly. Za one koji hode uspravno, ispravno. In Proverbs 3:34. U pričama 3:34. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. Jer pod smjevačima on se podsmijeva, a krotkima daje milost. So the entire Old Testament is full of grace. Tako da je cijeli stari zavet pun blagodati. The world tells us today that the Old Testament was the time of the law. We were under the law and now we are under the grace. But no, the Old Testament tells us we were under grace. Svijet nam govori kako je stari zavet bio pod zakonom, a sada smo pod milošću. Nije tačno. Mi vidimo da je milost postojala u starom zavjetu. They needed the salvational power of Jesus Christ just as much as we do. Oni su trebali tu spasonosnu silu Božju jednako kao mi. So why is there this need for grace? Odakle i zašto ova potreba za blagodaću? Is this wonderful verse in the Bible? Evo jednog teksta zanimljivog u Bibliji. Jeremiah 13:23. Jeremija 13:23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Može li Etiopljanin promijeniti kožu svoju ili ris svoje šare? I can tell you the leopards on my farm don't change their spots. Mogu vam reći da leopardi koje imam na farmi ne mijenjaju svoju, svoju šare. Then if that is possible, ako, je, ako bi to bilo moguće, may ye also do good. 
that on, are accustomed to do evil. Onda biste vi mogli činiti dobro, ovaj prijevod kaže, s obzirom da ste se navikli na činjenje zlo. Možete li vi činiti dobro, naučivši se činiti zlo? So Jeremiah is basically saying that without the salvational power, without the saving power of Jesus Christ, it is impossible for you to change your character. Jeremija nam jednostavno kaže da bez spasonosne Božje sile, bez sile Božje koja spašava, mi ne možemo činiti dobro. Let's go to 1 John 3, 4. Hajde da idemo u prvu Jovanovu, 3, 4. Ovo je definicija. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Svaki koji čini grijeh i bez zakonje čini. For sin is the transgression of the law. I grijeh je bez zakonje ili prestup zakonja. That's the definition. To je definicija. So we break the law, don't we? Mi kršimo zakon, zar ne? And if we break the law, we are sinners. A ako kršimo zakon, onda smo grešnici. So what do we need? We're going to need that salvational power of Jesus Christ. We're going to need grace. I zato će nam trebati ta spasonosna sila Isusa Hrista, treba će nam blagodat. Let's take a look at Paul again, Romans 7:7. Pogledajmo Pavla ponovo Rimljanima 7:7. He says, "What shall we say then?" Šta ćemo dakle reći? Is the law sin? Je li zakon grijeh? God forbid, nay. Bože sačuvaj. I had not known sin but by the law. Nego ja grijeha ne poznah osim kroz zakon. For I had not known lust except the law had said thou shalt not covet. Jer ne znadoh za želju da zakon ne kaza ne za želi. In Romans 5:20 he says, moreover the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded. A zakon dođe u to da se umnoži grijeh. Jer gdje se umnoži grijeh Grace did much more abound. Ondje se još većma umnoži blagodat. So if we are sinners and if we are great sinners, we ako, need great power. Ako smo grešnici, ako smo veliki grešnici, treba nam velika sila. The grace of Christ Hrist... is the only antidote or preventative of evil. Hristova blagodat je jedini protiv otrov ili preventiva za grijeh. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 12:9. U drugoj Korinčanima 12:9 Pavle kaže: Says and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee. I reče mi dosta ti je moja blagodat. It's basically saying my salvational power is enough. U drugim riječima kaže moja spasonosna sila je dovoljna. For my strength dynamis there's that word again my strength dynamis Jer se moja sila dinamis ponovo ova ista riječ is made perfect in weakness your weakness the fact that you can't overcome that's where my power is made u slabosti, dynamic u slabosti pokazuje sa svojim ako ste vi slabi tu će se pokazati moja sila Most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities that's Paul saying that that the power this dynamite power the dynamis of Christ may rest upon me. Dakle, ću se najslađe hvaliti svojim slabostima, to je ono što kaže Pavle, da se useli u mene sila, ta Hristova sila, opet ona dinamis. dinamis. In Hebrew 4.16 he says, Jevrejima 4.16 kaže, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Da pristupimo dakle k slobodno prijestolu blagodati. That we may obtain mercy. Da primimo milost. And find grace to help. I nađemo blagodat in time of need. Za vrijeme kad nam zatreba pomoć. Now I'm going to stop the presentation part here because now I'm going to give you a practical illustration. Zaustavit ću ovdje prezentaciju i podijelit ću sa vama jednu praktičnu primjenu. Ten years ago, prije deset godina, I had a massive big heart attack. Imao sam jedan jako ozbiljan srčani udar. It was quite severe. Bio je strašno ozbiljan. They took me by medical flight, by medical evacuation flight. Odveli su me sa medicinskim helikopterom. And they flew me from my country. I iz moje zemlje. To South Africa. U Južnu Afriku. Because in my country at that point in time we did not have a heart unit. Jer u mojoj zemlji u to vrijeme nije bilo u bolnici odjeljenje za ovu vrstu bolesti srca. So it's an ambulance flight, right? Dakle, to je hitna, let hitne pomoći. And I went to a hospital named the Hruteskir Hospital. I odvezen sam u bolnicu koja se zvala ovako. Now I want to ask you something. Želim vas nešto pitati. Who of you know when the first heart plant was done? Ko da zna kada je prvi put presađeno srce? 
Some of you people should know. Neko od vas bi trebao to da zna. It was 1963. 1973. godine. The first heart transplant. Prvo prva transplantacija srca. The doctor that did that heart transplant's name was Dr. Chris Barnard. Doktor koji je to učinio zvao se Chris Barnard. His whole name was Christian Nietlen Barnard. Njegovo puno ime je bilo Christian Nietlen Barland. He was my uncle. On je bio moj ujak. Now to do that, da biste to uradili, he first had to invent the heart lung machine. Trebao je prvo da izumi jednu mašinu za pluća. Because there was nothing like that available. Jer u to vrijeme ništa slično nije postojalo. So we had to make a machine that would breathe for you. Trebao je da izmisli mašinu koja će disati umjesto vas. Because when they cut you open, jer kada vas presijeku i otvore, your lungs fall flat and you can't breathe. Vaša pluća padnu i ne možete da dišete. And if they take your heart out, they need to have something that will pump the blood. A kada dotaknu ili otvore vaše srce, trebalo je nešto što će pokretati krv. So he designed the heart lung machine. Tako da je on izmislio ovu mašinu za pluća. And then for quite a number of years, they practiced transplanting hearts from one dog to another. I nekoliko sljedećeg godina oni su praktikovali transplantaciju srca sa jednog psa na drugog. So that they could perfect the transplant of a heart. Da bi usavršili taj proces. And eventually, i u konačnici, they did the last experiment. Uradili su i posljednji eksperiment. To transplant the heart of a baboon into a dog. Da prenesu srce iz babuna u psa. To see if that'll work. Da vide da li će to funkcionisati. Once they had done that and everything was successful, kad su to završili, kada je sve bilo uspješno, they then went to the superintendent of the hospital and said, "We are ready to do a transplant on a human." Otišli su kod upravnika bolnice i rekli su mu, "Mi smo spremni da izvršimo transplantaciju na čovjeku." At that point in time, the man who was available to do the heart transplant on was Louis Waszkanski, a Polish guy. Poljak Luj Vaškanski je bio prvi koji je bio na redu za taj za tu proceduru. And so they went to him and they said, "Look, it's going to be a great experiment. It's never been done before." Otišli su i rekli mu, "Slušaj, to će biti fantastičan eksperiment. To se nikad ranije nije radilo." But if we don't do it, you're going to die within two weeks anyway. Ako i ne pokušamo, ti ćeš sve jedno da umreš za dvije sedmice. If this works, you might live another six months, maybe a year. A ako uspijemo Živjet ćeš šest mjeseci, a možda i godinu dana. On je rekao, bilo šta je bolje od dvije sedmice. Naravno, to je bio lakši dio, imali su pacijenta. Ne znam za vas, ali ja baš nisam spreman da dam svoje srce nekome. Sviđa mi se dok je to unutra, dobro radi posao. But that night somebody made an accident. A te noći neko je imao saobraćajnu nesreću. A young girl whose name was Desre. Mlada djevojka koja se zvala Desre. On the accident scene the medics knew about this fact that they wanted to do a heart transplant. Na samom mjestu nesreće hitna pomoć je znala za ovu potrebu za transplantaciju. And so the medics called the parents of this young girl. I oni su pozvali roditelje ove mlade djevojke. Telling them the sad news that their girl had died. Podijelili su s njom tužnu, tragičnu vijest da je ona umrla. But they also asked if it would be okay that she donates her heart to somebody that needs it. Ali su ih također pitali da li bi bilo u redu da ona donira svoje srce nekome kome ono može trebati. In those very difficult circumstances. I ovim tako teškim trenucima. Her parents agreed that her heart could be harvested for Louis Washkansky. I roditelji su složili da njeno srce bude presađeno Louis Washkansky. So then everything started. I oni su započeli. And eventually that heart was transplanted. U konačnici je ono presađeno. And it was a huge success. I to je bio veliki uspjeh. Now get back to my story. Da se vratim nazad na svoju priču. When I get to the Hrvatski hospital, kada sam došao u bolnicu, the cardiologist that's going to treat me, 
kardiolog koji je trebao da me liječi is a Polish guy by the name of Jerzy Przewijewski. Je Poljak imenu Jerzy Przewijewski. Did I miss? It's, no, you, you got it right. <laughs> anyway, Jerzy Przewijewski was on the operating team working for my uncle. Ovaj doktor je bio u operacionom timu i radio sa mojim ujakom. Of course, by that time my uncle had died. U, do tog trenutka moj, moj ujak je umro. But Jersey was still alive. <laughs> Ali Jersey je bio još živ. And so after Jersey, you know, looked at me and looked at my condition. Nakon što me doktor pregledao i pregledao moje stanje. He said to me, "Don't worry, we're going to fix you up." Rekao je, "Ne brini, možemo ti popraviti." That's quite difficult. To je prilično teško. Anyway, um, he said to me, taking me into the operating theater the next day, <clears throat> dok me uvodi u operacijnu salu sljedećeg dana, I'm not going to anesthetize you. Neću ti dati, neću ti uspavati. I'm going to keep you awake. Držat ću te budnim. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I pokazivaću ti šta radim. There were three television screens above me. Izdan mene su bila tri ekrana. Jerzy Przewijewski was sitting at my right shoulder. Jerzy Przewijewski je sjedio iza mog desnog ramena. And as I did the operation, i dok je radio operaciju, He was telling me what he was doing. Govorio mi je šta radi. And showing me on the screen what he was doing. I pokazivao mi na ekranu šta radi. He showed me my heart. Pokazao mi moje srce. He showed me what was wrong. Pokazao mi je šta nije u redu s njim. And he would <laughs> He would tell me exactly what he was doing. I govorio mi je tačno šta trenutno radi. Um He explained to me the sensations that I would feel. Objasnio mi je da ono što ću doživjeti, što ću osjećati. Before he did what he was going to do. Što ću osjećati prije nego što on tamo nešto uradi. At some point in time he told me you got to stop breathing, don't breathe. U jednom trenutku mi je rekao sad nemoj disati, prestani dišeš. And then he would do something and then he would say okay, now you can take a deep breath. Onda bi uradio nešto i rekao sada Udahni duboko. Hold your breath again. Zadrži dah ponovo. And then he would do something and then he'd say okay now you can breathe again. Opet bi nešto radio i rekao nastavi da dišeš. And when we were finished. I kada smo završili. He said aren't you glad that your uncle found out how to transplant hearts. Pitao me zar nisi sretan što je tvoj ujak otkrio kako se ovo radi. What do you think? Šta vi mislite? I was very happy. Ja sam bio veoma sretan. But you know what? I told him that day. Ali znate šta? Tog dana sam mu rekao. I said, Dr. Przewijewski. Dr. Przewijewski. I am really happy that my uncle found out how to do this. Ja sam jako sretan što je moj doktor otkrio kako se ovo radi. But I am much more happy. Ali sam mnogo sretni. That Jesus Christ has the saving power što Isus Hristos ima spasonosnu silu to give us a new heart without this procedure. Da nam da novo srce bez ove procedure. And it's only the salvational power of Jesus Christ. I jedino ta spasonosna sila Isusa Hrista that can do that. Može to da uradi. There's absolutely nothing else. Ne postoji ništa drugo. So I want to ask you today. Ja želim danas da vas pozovem Who of you want a new heart? Ko od vas želi novo srce? A heart given to you by Jesus Christ. Srce koje vam može dati Isus Hristos. Amen. 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 Can I ask you to stand with me if you want to? Um, if you li, want a new heart, please stand with me. Mogu li vas pitati da ustanete i da stojite sa mnom ako želite novo srce? Thank you. Thank you. Hvala thank you. Thank Hvala you. Hvala vam. Amen. 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 I want to ask you. Želim da 
Maybe there are some of you who have listened to my story. Želim da vas pozovem. Možda neko među vama ko sluša ovu moju priču. Maybe there are some of you who have been touched by my story. Možda neko od vas dotaknut dotaknut ovom pričom. And maybe you know that your life has not been exactly what it should be. I možda neko među vama zna da njegov život nije bio baš onakav kakav bi trebao da bude. Nije onakav kakav treba da bude. If you feel that is the case. Ako osjećate da je to slučaj s vama, wouldn't you like to say I would like a new heart. Zar ne biste željeli da kažete da ja želim novo srce? I know I need a change. Ja znam da trebam promjenu. Amen. Amen. I want to ask you as well. Želim također da vas pozovem. Maybe there is those of you who have not been baptized yet. Možda među vama ima onih koji još nisu kršteni. Maybe you've been coming to church. Možda dolazite u crkvu. Maybe you've been listening to the messages of Jesus Christ. Možda ste slušali, možda slušate poruke Isusa Hrista. And maybe just maybe you have not paid attention as you should have. I možda možda jednostavno niste obraćali dovoljno pažnje kako biste trebali na to. But maybe today the Lord is speaking to your heart and he is asking you whether you wouldn't consider. Ali možda Gospod danas vama obraća se, govori vašem srcu i poziva vas to be baptized. Da budete kršteni. Are there any of you want to do that? Ima li neko među vama ko to želi neka digne ruku? Any of you feel that amen, amen, amen. 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 I want to ask those of you who want to make that commitment. Ja želim da Pozovem vas koji želite da napravite to posjećenje. So like da dođete, da izaćete naprijed. Ja bih volio da se molim za vas. Vi koji ste dignuli ruke i koji ste rekli da želite And da se kršite, izađete okay. naprijed, ne bojte se. Okay. Sve u redu. Amen. 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 I'm sure there's more of you that are considering. Amen. Amen. Vjerujem da vas ima još. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, Gospode Isuse, you know I love these people. Ti znaš da ja volim ove ljude. You know that I have a burning desire in my heart. Ti znaš da imam goruću želju u svom srcu. For every single person. Za svaku pojedinačnu osobu. I thank you so much that I could be here today with my brothers and sisters here in Novi Sad. Zahvaljujem ti za priliku da danas mogu biti ovdje sa svojim braćom i sestrama u Novom Sadu. And I thank you that we could share your word. I zahvaljujem ti što smo mogli dijeliti tvoju riječ. Thank you Lord that your word has touched their hearts. Hvala ti Gospode što je tvoja riječ dotakla njihova srca. Thank you that you have spoken into their lives. Hvala ti što se progovorio u njihovom životu. This entire congregation is standing before you today, Lord. Ova cijela zajednica stoji pred tobom, Gospode, danas. And they coming to you and they saying, Lord, we need a new heart. I dolazimo pred tebe i kažemo, Gospode, treba nam novo srce. We need a right heart in treba us, Lord. Treba nam ispravno srce. Lord, I want to pray that you will do that surgery for us. Gospode, ja te molim da ti učiniš tu operaciju za nas. Take the old heart completely out. Uzmi potpunosti van to staro srce napolje. Give us a new heart dedicated to you. Daj nam novo srce posvećeno tebi. Thank you Lord that we know that you can do it through the dynamic salvational power of Jesus Christ. Hvala ti što znamo da ti možeš to učiniti kroz svoju dinamičnu spasobnosnu silu. We thank you for this incredible gift. Hvala ti za taj neizmjeran dar. Lord, there are others here that have made a decision to follow you fully through the waters of baptism. Gospode, tu su i oni drugi koji su odlučili da te slijede kroz vode krštenja. And again we want to ask you, Lord. I ponovo, Gospode, tražimo od tebe that as they are going to prepare themselves for this baptism. Dok se oni pripremaju za ovo krštenje and as they are going to go into the waters and die with you. I dok budu ulazili u vodu i umru sa tobom as they are going to come out of that waters into new life dok izlaze iz vode u novi život it will also mean a new heart dedicated to you neka to znači i novo srce posvećeno tebi thank you lord for being with us today hvala ti gospode što si bio sa nama danas i pray that you will bless us 
Molim te da nas blagosloviš as we go from here. Dok odlazimo odavde. In Jesus name. U Hristovo u Isovo ime. Amen. Amen.